So this is a message that Joe has sent through. Um, she says that in November, a, a team visited us and gave us some very nice notebooks. And we wanted to use them for something special. Now we've found it. We started a daily time when the children there read the, the Bible, answer some questions and some reflections on how it applies to their lives. The desire of our hearts is that they learn to, to get by themselves, is they learn to go by the Bible themselves for them to have this daily habit. Seeing men do it fills our hearts with joy. For the little ones, we read them the Bible and they answer the questions. But seeing the old ones writing motivates them to learn to read and to be able to have their own notebooks. We always have Bible devotionals and we continue to have them every day. But for them to go by themselves is a new and special gift. Thank you, God, for this new time and we can see here some of the children they're reading their bibles they're going to their notebooks and they're answering the questions and writing about what they've read and i thought that was a lovely um idea that the children are able to do this and i wonder how many of us when we're reading our bibles have got our notebooks there recording writing down what we're learning and and really studying it in that way um, makes me wonder. Um, so that, that's the first part of the note from Jo. Um, um, last time, she told us how some of the children were starting to learn to play musical instruments. Can you remember that? Yeah? Okay. Well, she sent this. Hang on. Let me try and find some. Here we go. Let me do that again. Just a short video, but we can see the children, the young people, they're learning to play their instruments and they're starting to play some, some songs for praising God. I thought that was great. And, and so uh, um, let me just put up the, the second part. And this is the part that perhaps it isn't so good. It says, please help us pray. And what she says is, the distribution of drugs arrived to the neighborhood. Now some of the teens that are visitors of Valientes are friends with these people, and the children have seen them smoking and even suspect that they have been invited to sell it. One teen that comes with us has his younger brother involved and he is struggling to not follow the same steps. It has been painful to see all this happen. The teens in more risk are those who don't come to Valientes. They didn't want to stay because they were rebellious or were harming the other children. They're around 10 to 13 years old. May God break all bondage and protect the ones more vulnerable. May God give us strategies to help them and the desire of them to be helped as they have rejected us for a long season. And whilst we can see the joy of those children in singing and praising God, we're reminded that even the work that they're doing there is threatened by these evil people pushing drugs and using young children, 10 to 13-year-olds, to help sell their drugs. Uh, it's evil. And um, 
we need to pray for for what's going on there. So can we just um just pray for that work that Joe is doing over there in um in in Chiapas in Mexico and the work of Valientes the school. Father, we do lift Joe and her family up to you. We thank you for their faith and trust in you. Lord, we thank you for the work that they are doing in teaching these children, providing schooling for children who otherwise would never be able to learn to read and to write. And they're also providing that knowledge of you and your word, teaching them to read their Bibles and to study your word. Lord, we thank you for all that they are doing. And we just pray, Father, that <clears throat> you will just protect these children over there. Lord, that these drug dealers, these evil men, these evil people who are coming along will, will just be moved on, that they will be, be stopped from doing what they're doing. Father, we pray for these children that you will protect them and keep them safe from anything and anyone that would harm them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Continue to look after Joe and her family, provide for them, protect them, strengthen them, and help them in all that they do for you. Amen.